Hi, I'm Marty Kelsey from the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. Today I'm in Dayton, Ohio at the National Museum of the United States Air Force, and I'm joined by Jeff DeFord. Jeff, thanks so much for talking about uh, us today. It's a pleasure to be here today. We are in front of the F-117. Tell us about this plane. This is the F-117 Nighthawk, but it's known to the world as the Stealth Fighter. And this aircraft created a revolution. It uh, could perform in a way that no other aircraft could by being virtually invisible on radar screens. How did it do that? Well, it, uh, it's kind of a myth that it was completely invisible. What it did is it directed energy in different directions. So you can think of it kind of like a flashlight. If you shine a flashlight into a mirror, the light comes right back on you. But if you angle that mirror in such a way that the light goes in a different direction, then you're essentially sitting in the dark. That's what the F-117 did. And in fact, if you look at the structure of the airplane, it has a bunch of flat facets operating kind of like a mirror would. So when we look at this airplane, the angles make it look very different than other airplanes, but that's intentional. Yeah, it looks very unusual, but what it really comes down to is math. The designers of this airplane developed a really sophisticated computer program to figure out what angles would direct the radar in different directions. And in the end, this computer program came up with this shape. Pretty much everything on this airplane is designed to keep it from being detected by radar, right? That's right. Uh, the designers, the people who built the aircraft, and the folks who maintained it had to pay attention to every single last detail. For instance, radar energy could get into the cockpit through the cockpit glass. Uh, it was made out of a special material. Also, the inlets, those are notorious. So essentially, this is where the engine breathes into. Um, it had a special grate over it that would uh, diffuse the radar energy. Then it also had a special coating over the entire aircraft called RAM, or radar absorbent material. And lastly, they had to be very careful about any seam, any little uh, blemish in the uh, surface, they would have to repair that or the airplane would then be able to be seen on radar. And it looks like it's got little jagged edges all over the place. Why, why the jagged edges? It does. It, you see that everywhere, not only on main structures in the aircraft, but along panel lines and things like that. And again, it goes back to the same thing trying to control the, the uh, radar uh, emissions bouncing off the aircraft so that an enemy radar couldn't see it. Wow. Can we go take a look around? Yeah, let's go. Awesome. We're underneath the F-117 by the bomb bay doors. What are we looking at here? Well, what we're looking at is one of two bomb bays in the F-117, and this is what the F-117 is made to deliver. This is a 2,000-pound laser-guided bomb, and F-117 typically carried two 2,000-pound laser-guided bombs. And basically, it would shine a laser point on the target. There's a seeker head in the nose of this bomb that sought that laser energy. Very, very precise weapon. And the F-117, it's, it's called a fighter, but it really isn't. It's really an attack aircraft or a bomber aircraft. And it was made to kick in the door. So if you think about in a fight, this airplane throws the first punch before the enemy even knows it's coming. But only two bombs and no other guns. That's right, just these two bombs. How do you make a door that doesn't reflect radar? You know, that's a great question. Not possible. So just for a moment, while these bomb bay doors were open and they were releasing the weapons, the airplane lit up radar screens. So it would release it very, very quickly and the doors would shut very quickly. This plane kind of paved the way for how weapons are delivered on future aircraft, right? That's right. So basically a stealth aircraft has to carry its weapons internally to be stealthy. So the F-117 was the first aircraft to do this, but follow-on aircraft like the Air Force's most modern fighters, the F-22, F-35, carry their weapons internally when they're in, a, in stealth mode. We've moved to the back, and I've always wondered, where's the exhaust? Well, uh, the F-117 has a very special exhaust. So radar is, is one way that an enemy could see our aircraft, but Infrared is another way that an enemy could detect our airplanes, and jet engines are terrible about uh, emitting heat. So F-117 has a very special exhaust. It has two long slits along the back end, and that very hot jet exhaust is diffused as it comes out in the back end of the aircraft. Wow. A pilot couldn't control this plane, could they? That's right. Actually, uh, this aircraft cannot be flown by a pilot without the help of a computer. Looking underneath here, I see a lot of parallel lines and basic geometric shapes. Why is that? Uh, you do, it's, it's math and geometry. So you see this in a lot, on a lot of stealth aircraft where there are parallel lines and parallel structures all across the aircraft. A good example of that is the uh, vertical tails on the F-117. In fact, on all stealth aircraft, when there's a vertical tail, they will always be canted in one direction. And actually, 
The original test version of the F-117 called Have Blue, they were canted inwards, but for the production aircraft, they were canted outwards. And it's uh, again, trying to get uh, the structures on the aircraft to be parallel. So it's all about everything on this airplane is about getting rid of that radar signature. That's right, uh, mathematics and geometry. Wow, and a crew of one. That's right, crew of just one. Could this plane refuel in the air? It could, and as a matter of fact, uh, a typical mission during Desert Storm in 1991 would be about five to eight hours, depending on uh, what targets they were striking. Wow, well thank you so much for showing us around uh, today. Uh, my pleasure.